We of course want to continue our team weather coverage from across the tri state. This after multiple tornadoes ripped through our area. Yeah, so right now Jordan Valines joins us from Milton, Kentucky. And for those who aren't familiar, Milton, Kentucky, right there on the edge of or the borderline between Kentucky and Indiana. So Jordan, what are you seeing there in Milton? Well, I'm glad that you brought it up, the location of where we are, because I'm actually going to show you this first. So like you said, we're in Kentucky, right? We're the only lights that you're seeing here are the ones that my photographer brought with them. If you look past us, kind of using my flashlight to give you guys a little bit of a look, uh, when you see the other lights, that's across the river from where we are. So those lights that you're seeing, that's Indiana. Then when you enter Kentucky over that bridge, things were dark when we got here earlier this morning and they remain dark but take a look at this we've actually walked across the street here this a restaurant if you take a look there you can see the insulation the roof really just i mean ripped off uh i mean entirely from front to back here i was taking a look at the signage it looks like it was a pizza shack that was here but the kind of the bizarre way and i know ethan can speak to this more about the way that you know tornado tornadoes rip through things is that entire roof is gone yet you know none of those windows are smashed out or anything like that and then uh the home right next to it there does appear to be some uh, damage to the siding beneath it but really i think what we're going to see uh it, when the sun comes up is kind of the how expansive this damage truly is we've been limited to where we've been able to go because of the fact that there's no electricity so you get over to the kentucky side here in milton and it just goes dark so again, we're going to continue to work our way around and then hopefully uh, near the eight o'clock hour, things are going to lighten up a bit and we're really going to be able to get a better idea of how much damage was done yesterday when that tornado came through here. For now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Jordan, thank you. And uh, something else we're really following this morning, a quick look at the Duke Energy power outage map. Still a few pockets with over 100 people in the dark, including in Middletown, Anderson Township, and near Salyer Park. Outage numbers uh, down drastically from where they were just a few hours ago. At one point in the morning, we saw nearly 7,000 customers without power. So Fox 19 has you covered 24 seven when it comes to weather. Be sure to bookmark our 24 hour live streaming weather channel on Fox 19.com and also on our mobile and smart TV apps. You can get instant access to our weather teams forecast and our live weather streams anytime, anywhere.